Greetings, my name is Liz Deacon. I head the Neuro Department at Nirvana Health, and today I'd like to give you a tour of the training sessions offered at Nirvana. Let's start by addressing the term neurofeedback, as it tends to be arbitrarily thrown around the neuro industry. I've noticed it is often used as an umbrella term for different neuro reconditioning techniques, whether they are truly neurofeedback or not. We at Nirvana are trying to demystify the term neurofeedback by educating individuals like yourself what it is and how it differs from other neuro-related techniques. Let's first review traditional neurofeedback together. It incorporates elements of both operant and classical conditioning. These forms of conditioning are also present in other areas of our lives. How we are able to learn a new language or a skill like swimming. During the session, a 3D visual representation of what the trainee's brain looks like is displayed on a screen in front of them. Each unique protocol is superimposed on the brain and appears in a pattern of dots and connecting lines which represent the specific networks and areas being targeted. The goal of the session is teaching the trainee's brain to recognize when they are getting the ideal visual, auditory, and sometimes vibrotactile feedback. In turn, their brain and nervous system regulate and normalize those targeted areas. The implied positive feedback is reinforced each session and eventually the ways our brain and nervous system communicate will also change. An analogy we often use is to picture their protocol as a blueprint and the closer their brain mimics that blueprint, the more positive feedback they'll get, reinforcing this new, more optimal mode of function. Examples of the other neural reconditioning techniques we use at Nirvana include, but are not limited to, low-level laser and infrared light therapy, transcranial direct current stimulation, infraslow fluctuation training, vagal nerve stimulation, 19-channel Loretta neurofeedback training, and biofeedback through heart rate variability. I'd like to take this opportunity to further elaborate what biofeedback is. In our experience, it is a term that is often used to describe many different approaches and can be very confusing. It is similar in concept to traditional neurofeedback, but varies in the bodily processes we target. At Nirvana, we teach the concept of biofeedback as providing the trainee both visual and auditory information about their heart rate or biological process, while actively participating in relaxation techniques like heart-focused or diaphragmatic breathing. Through biofeedback, we are striving to create a balance in the nervous system to be able to easily shift between the fight or flight response and the rest and digest response. The greater the depth or variability of our heart rate as we breathe, the greater balance we achieve. And this ultimately equates to improved resiliency in our nervous system to both internal and external stressors. Now, you may be wondering how quickly these changes will occur. There is no clear-cut answer to this as our training programs are created on an individual basis. Therefore, changes are unique to each individual. Some people notice shifts in their symptoms after only a handful of sessions, while others are not able to pinpoint changes until 20 training sessions in. It is important you are patient and follow the between session recommendations in order to maximize the frequency and intensity of those changes. Now, you may also wonder whether the targeted changes are intended to leave permanent lasting effects. Before I answer that question, I'd like to outline a few things about the human brain, as it is a habit machine. So active participation, changes in our behavior and lifestyle are vital to maintain the positive effects in the nervous system that you've achieved during those training phases. We often provide tools to practice with at home as well as educational documents to reinforce the work being done in sessions. So long story short, yes, those processes are meant to last but not without your active participation. Finally, I'd like to address who is the right candidate for the neural reconditioning techniques I've mentioned so far. The answer is simple, anybody. If you are willing to do the work, show up, and persevere when faced with challenges, then the Nirvana Brain Training Program is right for you. The individual who sees the most robust changes are the ones committed to the work and patient throughout the process. Many clients tell me the journey isn't always easy, but the benefits far outweigh the work involved. I appreciate you taking the time to learn more about what we do at Nirvana Health. We look forward to working with you or your loved ones.